Hello everyone. This video is an explanation of my one animate workflow. I'm sharing the exact workflow I use when making my dance videos. Its structure is based on Mr. Kijai's one animate V2 workflow, with the pose estimation section separated out. Features I don't use are not included, such as character swap. This workflow is specialized for animating the character in the images you prepare. First, let me introduce my PC setup. Comfy UI is the latest version at the time of creating the video. The Python related components are just as shown on the screen. Sage Attention is already installed as well. Now let's open the workflow. When you extract the downloaded archive, you'll see these files. This one is the workflow used for video generation, and the two above it are for pose estimation. If you open it as is, you'll get a screen like this because the required nodes aren't installed yet. So let's start by getting all the necessary models in place. This is the one animate model. It's 18.4 gigabytes, and I'm using the E4M3FN version. Next, the LORAS. There are many types of light X, but honestly, I can't tell the difference, so I'm just using the rank 128 one. Relight is used in Kajai's workflow, so I download it just in case. Fusion X has a strong effect and tends to reproduce the same face, so I use it carefully. This is the text encoder. If you have the FP16 version, you can use that, and it gives the same speed and output. If you already have the VAE, you don't need it. Place each model in its respective folder. Next, we'll install the custom nodes. It's easiest via Comfy UI Manager. There are three nodes you need, and since they are all major nodes, you might already have them installed. One video wrapper version 1.4.0 greatly reduces VRAM usage, so even if you already have it, I recommend updating. Restart Comfy UI to apply the changes. The only node that's still not installed is my own custom node. This workflow has a lot of configurable settings, like resolution and frame rate, so I created this node to set them all at once. You could enter the values directly into each node or replace them with int and float nodes, but this node is more convenient, so I recommend using it. The file is called video underscore config underscore animate dot py and is located in the same folder as the workflow. It's pretty simple code. Copy or move this file into the custom nodes folder. Restart Comfy UI to apply the changes. All the nodes are now active. I'm also double checking that each model has been loaded. With this, everything is ready for generation. Now let's load the data needed for generation. Starting from the nodes on the left, load the reference video, face video, pose video, and target image. The sample underscore motions folder contains the datasets for each motion. Let's choose 000 underscore tomatoma. If you're starting with one animate, this dataset is the best choice, including for historical context. This is the video that was used when one animate was first introduced to the world. I couldn't believe something like this was possible, so I tried to recreate it using the same dance video. 
Since then, I've added my own tweaks and improvements, but this video is the origin of it all. These are the reference video. Face video. And pose video. Load each one into its respective node. Make sure you don't mix up the locations. Finally, the target image. Let's try this image. In simple terms, One Animate is a model that uses the reference video, face video, and pose video to animate the character in the target image. I just call all of these datasets the motion data. Now, let's adjust the prompt to match the content of the target image. The generation resolution is 720 times 1280 with a frame rate of 30. Adjust these settings according to your own environment. You'll probably need to experience a few OOMs to find the right balance. The resolution presets are only available in 16.9. If you want to use something else, like the recommended size for SDXL, use custom width and custom height. All that's left is to run it and start the generation but I've already prepared the finished video, so let's take a look. It's pretty uncanny, isn't it? This is a comparison video with the reference video and pose video. Let's try a different character. This is basic, but if the reference video is full body, make sure the target image is also full body. Similarly, if the reference video focuses on the upper body, prepare a target image that also shows the upper body. If the reference video is full body but the target image only shows the upper body, there's nothing to reference for the lower body. Making it difficult to maintain consistency. Now, let's start the generation. I'll show the task manager and comfy UI execution log. Tracking these numbers might be useful as a reference. The tiled VAE in the one video animate embeds node is turned off in this video, but it's fine to keep it enabled until you get used to using this model. Four hundred nine frames at a resolution of seven twenty by twelve eighty were generated using six steps, taking a total of forty seven minutes and fifty seven seconds. Peak VRAM usage was ten point three gigabytes, and peak RAM usage was one hundred five gigabytes. The generated result has unnatural finger movements, 
and the face doesn't look good either. I probably should have lowered the strength of Fusion X and increased the number of steps. The image I prepared wasn't great either, so this is a failed attempt. Finally, I'll give a quick overview of how to create your own motion data. I'll skip things like model installation. If you're working with a single character, use the solo workflow. If you're working with multiple characters, use the multi-character workflow. Right now, I feel that both the pose estimation models and one animate itself aren't quite strong enough to handle multiple characters freely. It's best to start by gaining experience with a single character first. To create motion data, you need a source video to start with. When you find a video you want to use, just save it. Since there's only one character, we'll use the solo workflow. Load the video you downloaded. Set the frame rate and whatever else you need. I'll just leave it as is this time. Alright, let's start generating the motion data. The reference video, face video, and pose video are generated, and the quality looks good. Now just prepare a target image and try animating your favorite character. That's it for the walkthrough of my workflow. Enjoy!